gang, and welcome along to episode three of Diary of a Fighter. It's been a couple of weeks since I had a catch up because Jack went all spinal, broke his back. Uh, didn't really break his back, but had a herniated disc, so couldn't come and do any filming. Um, so you've missed out on lots of exciting bits and pieces. Uh, last week, I had my very first uh, MMA spa with MMA gloves. Been obviously doing lots of sparring without them, but having little gloves on, which was interesting to say the least. Very different than um, sparring with 12 ounce boxing gloves on. Obviously, still you're still getting banged with the, uh, with the with the 16 ounce on, but the, the little sparring gloves were, were pretty interesting. My fight has been announced. For those of you who asked in the comment section, some of the commenting I turn off on YouTube because I want to breed an air of positivity and there was too much negativity out there in the world. But 16th of May, my fight has been announced. I've been over and done the Bellator event and seen firsthand, took my wife, um, and she was uh, she quietly, um, quietly interested. I thought she was going to be quite terrified sitting uh, cage side, seeing what can happen in there. But actually, it was a great night in Dublin. Amazing Dublin crowd. Uh, I think probably one of the best fighting crowds in the world. Um, so 16th of May, Wembley Arena. I'll be fighting unless the coronavirus kills everybody uh, before then or things get cancelled. But I'm very excited about that. Ticket information, I've got no idea about. But uh, if you follow Bellator, Bellator Europe, you will find out more information. I've uh, been all over the place, had no DJing. Just been flat out working, a lot of speaking, which obviously, as you can imagine, I absolutely love. Um, so this uh, diary of a fighter, we're going to go back to the gym. Got trained today. No idea what's happening training-wise. I've stopped asking. Uh, there's no point uh, because uh, a, I overthink it if I do know what's happening, and b, just got to be prepared for anything. Body's holding up okay. Since I had my little mini meltdown, uh, I'm back fully smashed the nutrition, up my calories to five and a half thousand, six thousand calories just um, because I was losing weight, didn't matter how much I was eating, so I've really pumped them up. But aside from that, stay tuned. It's gonna be exciting. Someone's gonna get filled in. We might even interview some of the fighters if they wanna talk, but some of them might not. We've got two months or two and a half months before the real business starts. Am I scared? Just a little bit. part of the day is done which at my physio uh, I'm coming in twice a week to see Paul to get kind of pre pre session just deal with a few niggles obviously you can imagine this in the fight game there's always something falling apart and you just have to manage it especially after kind of 18 and a half years of, of, of training so I've got about an hour now before whatever they've got planned today um, could be sparring could be God knows what, <laughs> whatever it is, it's going to be hard work. And then uh, we've got house rugby later. But I'll introduce you to some of the guys in the uh, in the team as well as we go around because um, there's a lot better and a lot more well-known fighters in this gym. Um, so we might as well get to meet some of them. I've talked about a couple of characters in the gym and one person that I've known probably as long as anyone else in here is Michael Shipman, who is sporting a nice black eye, which has nothing to do with me, sadly, even though I'd like to claim it. Yeah. I think today to interview me, I've looked, the whole time he's been here I've been looking great and then he, uh, today's the day he wants me on, uh, on camera. Yeah exactly, just uh, can't beat you up in the cage so I can <laughs> kick good balls on social media. Humiliate me online. Shock horror, this man's eating. I have never in my life seen a man eat more. I mean do you want to start with that because you, you've had an interesting journey with food in terms of you were like, yeah. you went a bit mad eating food didn't you? <laughs> yeah so um, I used to play a bit of rugby back in the day and I was uh, and it was one of my coaches said, oh, you need to get bigger. So I was, I was playing, I was playing the same kind of position as James, obviously nowhere near the size. So he said, if you want to, if you want to play at a high level, you've got to get bigger. I was like, okay, so what do I need to do? And he says, you've got to eat. And I was like, what do I eat? Just anything, eight times a day. So for about, <laughs> about 10 years, I was having eight meals a day. Um, eight meals a just, day. Just, just, just think of that, like eight <laughs> meals a day. And that's like, and they're like bucket portions like that, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, so basically that caused me issues because like, 
I was, my body's always inflamed from training yeah. and my gut was always inflamed because it never had time to process the food. And I just thought, this is how athletes shit, I guess. Like like a duck quacking into the toilet. I just thought that's that's part of life, just quack. And uh, I just, that, that was my life for about 10 years. Um, and then eventually, like, my body's uh, just like, come oh, man, it was had enough. I started getting, I started getting sick, started getting infections because I had no inflammatory response when I got sick because my body was already Always sick. inflamed, yeah. yeah so, um, I got put in touch with a guy called Steve Grant who uh, does kind of like diets and things and uh, uh, kind of all sorts, kind of like holistic health. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, he's like, he just like looked at my bloods and everything and then was like, yeah, this is crazy what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> like, eat four times a day, um, fucking relax. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and so now I just have to cram all my calories into to the four meals. But, but also, you, much better, yeah. you are in, the, I reckon, the best shape I've ever seen you. Like yeah, yeah, for sure. Absolute rig yeah. city, like you know, uh, yeah. it's one of those things. That's interesting. I, I found the, the hardest thing of my calories. You know, I'm probably up to about four, four sorry, five and a half thousand, six thousand a day at the moment. Can't keep it on. I, I went before I was in the jungle. I, I was in about what I was 122 kgs. Came back 110. I mean, you know, these guys, um, both Jack and, and and you can't see he's off he's off camera, but um, both these guys you know, sometimes do double sessions a day. You, you're constantly burning calories. It's like the hardest thing. The hydration. It's like a, it's like a battle, isn't it? Like I can't eat. Like you, I've got a gap now between training, but I can't. Um, I can't get it in because I just think I spew. So I have to get all my calories in like three meals a day. Yeah, that's my years of training, of eight meals a day. So this <laughs> is a breeze for me, man. Are you potentially fighting on the same card as me, maybe in London? Mm. Well, I don't know what I'm meant to be announcing. Oh, fine, right. Well, we don't know yet. <laughs> maybe, maybe. I'm not saying no. Um, yeah. So it looks like uh, looks like it's kind of pan out. And how many fights you had in Bellator so far? Um. Six now, six with Bellator, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. How many fights have I had? None. <laughs> How many wins? None. How many losses though? None. None, so, yeah, but, but there you go. But actually, it's a really interesting story with, with um, Mikey because years ago, when I, I mean, I've been training at Shoot Fights since I was 19. Uh, I'm now 35 or 35 next month. And actually, he started his journey about eight years ago, nine years ago. Eight, nine years ago. Yeah, eight, nine years ago. And basically, used to live in a, a in the car park in a van, decided to switch rugby to fighting. And, and it's kind of, for me, the epitome of someone that has shown to like, every single day, turning up dedication, um, what you can achieve. And it's pretty amazing. We had one of our, my first ever boxing sparring. <laughs> I got a lovely body shot on him. thought, yes, this is easy. Then he got a lovely body shot on me. We're both the other side of the ring, like, <laughs> wheezing. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, we've come a long way, but, but uh, Michael helps me every day when, when we're in on a Monday, do a lot of technique stuff. He's been absolutely brilliant, as everybody is, is here. So um, if you want to follow me on social media, what is it? That's Mike Shipman MMA. Mike. With, a, with an app in front. Mike Shipman MMA. Well, look, follow his, follow his journey because long after I'm uh, uh, done with this whole Bellator thing, these boys will be, will be kicking ass. So go back and enjoy your, your meal. Mm. And um, you know you're never allowed to knock me out. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's the yeah. He's a superstar. You can't knock out. I've been doing doubles. I've been doing triples day since he's been here. <laughs> triples a day. He took my physio spot earlier. Yeah, uh, yeah. And he's just uh, he runs a show now. Yeah, that's what I do. Big, big, big name. Showpiece. Big big name. Name. Famous guy problems, really. Famous guy. It's always a bit of a sketchy part of the, uh, the session. This because you warm up, but you've got no idea what's coming. But no one's here yet. Am I sparring? Am I not sparring? Yesterday quite light, light then finish with two five minute rounds of round of pound on the bag so you're absolutely blowing you just never know what's going on it closes your head and you realize the only person you're fighting is yourself just not overthink it just think about warming up well and see what happens so many mind games in this sport 